Okay, it's time to deploy our app to the real world. Uh, let's go ahead and, and do that. Uh, so back in Eclipse, or maybe using uh, App Engine Launcher, Launcher, either way is okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do is select my project and do PyDev Google App Engine upload. Okay. And then this is gonna ask me in a second for my email. So which I will do, and then it's also um, gonna ask me uh, for um, a password here, and I will go ahead and um, and deploy this guy, right? So you remember, uh, simple as that to deploy. Uh, what we're gonna wanna do after that is go back to uh, your developer's console and go to your project, all right? And let's see, we're gonna look in, um, in I believe it's in uh, Cloud Data Store, okay, so storage, uh, cloud data store indices and if we look at this guy right here uh, it looks like it had some that it was already serving uh, this is an old version I bet uh, and it has some other ones that are in progress so it's it's building these guys <coughs> uh, so remember we just have to wait for for these guys to finish building uh, and as soon as it says that it that it's done or serving uh, we're ready to move on so we'll pause wait for it to work. All right, I am back, and it looks like they are serving here. Um, I got up and stretched, uh, so probably gone for about six or seven minutes, um, but it looks like it's it's serving all of them now. Uh, so that's good, so we're ready to um, to look at the deployed version. So I'm looking at Bautel, uh, let's see, Bautel grade recorder. Uh, I had another version, but this should be the basic grade recorder at appspot.com. Let's go ahead and launch this guy, and uh, I'm already logged into my Google account, uh, so I can start adding students and everything. So, uh, well, you know, the same basic testing. Um, I'd expect that, that you do some, some testing here, uh, you know, add, add a few students. Um, let's see, nope, that's at Dave, uh, Fisher DS. Uh, and he's on the same team. And let's add, uh, we'll add David Mutchler. And Chrome is remembering this from some former stuff that I'd done. Uh, assignments, let's make a lab one. And let's make a lab five because we're bored of one, two, three, and let's make an exam one. Very good, so we have an exam in labs over here, grid entries, uh, we should have some little pop downs here. So on exam one, I got, I don't know, I got an 86. And I show up here, and then if I add a grid entry, um, you know, on lab five, uh, Dr. Fisher got in, um, he hit a 90 on that lab, all right? And so there we go. So if we want to get all of them, we just put in a blank search here. Um, otherwise, we could just we could just search. Uh, all right, so uh, kind of neat. Um, so let's let's test out the the Explorer now, because I want to test out our API. So Bautel, uh, let's see, so Grade Recorder. And again, just grid recorder dot dot com slash let's see underscore ah slash api slash explorer, and we got our grid recorder API should be with our seven methods. Let's take a peek. Yep, and there they are. Uh, and so if I did things like list, uh, let's try that again. So listing students. We'll go ahead and, and authorize ourselves again. And listing the students gives us the three of us, okay? Uh, looks great, we each have entity keys and everything. Um, so I'm gonna grab one of these guys and let's see, um, eh, well, it doesn't so much matter. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and do a grade entry insert and so a student key I can add, and I hope I have the whole thing this time. 
uh, and a score. So I'm going to be adding in a score of 100. And I need an assignment key. And to do that, um, let's see. I guess I could, well, I can't paste it in from anywhere here. So one place that I could go is back to my developers console and go to um, go to query. And if I look under assignments, um, let's say that that 100 is going to be on exam one. So let's click on this. Um, let's see, edit. Let's try to edit the entity. Um, and it is complaining here. Oh, that's not good. Um, it's giving me an ID but it is not giving me uh, any other information. Uh, there's actually one more place we could go, and that's to go to app engine.google.com. Uh, and this is sort of the old version of the, of the developer console. Uh, so, and I know that, that they're still kind of porting stuff over. Uh, let's go to, to grade recorder. And within this guy, there is a data store viewer. And in here, so exam one, if I were to click on this guy, it does very much have an entity key. So let's see, let's go ahead and grab this entity key here. So copy that guy, go back here, and that will be the assignment key for this great entry that I'm entering. So somebody, I forget who I grabbed that from, um, got 100 on exam one. So let's go ahead and execute this guy. And uh, let's see, so I did a post, um, came back with this, assigned this great entry an entity key. Let's go back here refresh um, and it looks like it was me all right excellent I got a hundred on exam one super deeper um, so it looks great um, and then then yeah okay sounds good so it looks like I, re I replaced the score that I had so that was a good test of, of replacing um, since I since um, I already had a score of, of I think it was 86 before uh, so uh, so that worked out fine um, let's let's try I guess one more. Let's try a delete. Let's try to blow this guy away. Um, so on the insertion that I just did here, so the entity key on that great entry of me getting a hundred. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that whole entity key, and let's go to grade entry delete by that entity key, execute it, and then it comes back. And it says a score of negative one. Let's go back to the web app here and refresh. And that guy's gone, right? So lab five still has a, still has a, a grade in here. In fact, let's go ahead and blow away lab five to finish us off here. Uh, so lab, lab five is Dr. Fisher. Um, so we're gonna go back to this guy. And I wanna go to the assignment with lab five, which is this entity key right here. And where we want the assignment and it's uh, grid entries to go away. So let's go ahead into here and this will be assignment delete. So that's for um, for that lab. We'll execute it. And and it comes back and it, it deleted that assignment. So what I'm really hoping again is that lab 5 went away plus this great entry that goes along with it. And let's go ahead and refresh. And lab 5 data we're gone, okay? So the only thing that we're left with, there were a few students, uh, which we were not giving our client ability to, to, um, to add or delete. And then we have, uh, then we have here some, some assignments um, that we could add or delete. Uh, looks great. Uh, so we're, we're done deploying, done testing. All right, uh, see you back when we wrap up.